Now, a urinary tract infection can be painful and embarrassing, but with bio antibiotics, it usually clears up quickly. But not for everyone. For some women, it's chronic, and it leaves them in pain, sometimes for years. This has led some of them to spend thousands of pounds on a diagnosis and treatment. Here's India de Grant. It's um, 6 a.m. and even though I took something to help me sleep, I haven't really slept. Um, I've been up half the night with the pain. Oh, I just don't feel comfortable. Lauren so, suffers from a chronic urinary time, tract infection, or UTI. I mean, you don't have to Usually, that, such infections are easily time. treated with a short course of antibiotics. But I've been speaking to women whose pain has not gone away. I can't eat or drink what I want to eat or drink, or else it'll cause a massive flare-up. I can't sleep. Um, because without medication, that is, I can't sleep because the pain is, is constant. It puts a strain on your friendships, obviously relationships, you know, your sexual life, it really hinders that. Work life, having to take days off work, um, even having to explain it to your work or just your colleagues or even just friends feels embarrassing. All the women I've spoken to test negative for UTI despite the fact they still suffer pain. Sending a urine sample to the lab is the most reliable test for UTIs, but results can take days. So GPs often use a faster dipstick test, but these can give negative results. Lauren couldn't get diagnosed on the NHS. She got diagnosed privately and was given long-term high-dose antibiotics, which have improved her symptoms. When I actually total up the costs of everything that I need to pay for to get there, get treatment, come back, um, it's um, the private consultation in itself and then because you can't get your prescriptions on the NHS you also pay for those. So my average cost of a trip to London is about six, seven hundred pounds. Anna recently saw an NHS consultant who she felt didn't take her condition seriously. Um, so I was referred to the urologist on the NHS, uh, it took months obviously, um, and then I went and I just felt very dismissed and all in all the appointment was about five minutes long. So I had to explain my years of pain that I've went through in this five minutes and kind of plead my case almost. The NHS doesn't routinely offer long-term high-dose antibiotics as a treatment for UTIs. We always have to worry about long-term antibiotics because uh, that can cause antibiotic resistance. And just to emphasise that antibiotic resistance is about what happens in society, but it's also what happens to that individual person. So that individual person is more likely to, to develop antibiotic resistance and then antibiotics won't work. There are no easy answers, and with women being left in pain, all agree more research into this debilitating condition is needed. India Grant, Reporting Scotland.